And welcome everyone to a Cats Check here for the WCC. I'm Andy Cats. Please be joined by Pacific's Damon Stoudemire. And uh, Damon, uh, let's look back. We've got uh, an opportunity because we've had a lot of time here to reflect on this past season. You actually finished tied with St. Mary's for third. I think people forget that. Uh, 23 wins. Uh, outstanding season. Jaleel Tripp had a great year for you guys. Uh, when you look back, what, what impressed you the most about what your team accomplished? I was impressed by the way the team came together. You know, I had I had nine new players. You know, that's what, you know, people wouldn't know, you know, but I, I got nine new players. And, you know, the way we were able to gel together, I think uh, this this crew and pretty much all my teams, even when we, we weren't winning, we established the identity of playing hard. But I think that this year um, we played hard and we played deep. And as the season went from non-conference to conference, I could see our team grow. And, that's, and that was great and that was exciting for, for me, me and the staff. You know, so the admission into the WCC, that predates you. And there was definitely a lot of, you know, okay, is this team gonna be able to be competitive at near the top? And when you get 11 wins, especially this season, with as good as Gonzaga was and BYU and St. Mary's, I think that speaks volumes uh, to what you have been able to accomplish with this program. At this point in your tenure, uh, how would you judge the growth of where this program is? I think we're going in the right direction, Andy. I, I love the steps that we've taken every year. The one thing that nobody talks about, and it was because our overall record, we, we didn't have a conference, but my second year, we finished tied for fourth place in the league with San Francisco. Um, we were nine and nine that year, actually nine and six going into the, the last couple weeks, and we, we we didn't win. But, you know, two out of the four years that I've been here, we finished in the top four. And it says volume for these kids and, you know, the things that we're trying to do to establish a culture. Um, you know, you get it, you get a program like this and the way I inherited, inherited it, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to have some pillars and, you know, culture. Um, you know, when you talk about culture, you know, you want to bring in players of character. You know, character for me in college has to exceed the basketball because a lot of times if you if you bring in the guy uh, that's just basketball, he's not all the way bought in. And um, I just want guys that are, that are bought in. Um, I don't have right now, I don't have the pressures of bringing in like, you know, uh, one and two year guys is gonna be here. I can see guys grow. Um, I've been able to do a great job of blending, you know, freshmen with junior college players with grad transfers. All right, so now let's put a ball on uh, Jamal's uh, career for you. Um, in what way did he impact this program? You know how they say, well, if you, you get contract extensions and all that, well, I owe more than half of it to Jalil Tripp. <laughs> you know, he, you know, him coming here, I thought was a steal. Um, you know, and then, then the things that he did here in his three years, he's the guy for me, when I started my head coaching career, he's the guy that, that, that came here um, when he didn't have to come here and he believed in me and, and, and you know, he had a great career and he impacted this program in ways that I, I could only imagine. Well, Damon, I appreciate it. More than anything, stay safe. And hopefully right. sooner than later, I'll be talking about next season as it gets closer and closer. No question. Thanks, Andy.